Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use a tap and die set. Now this video is part one of two, and we'll be covering how to re-thread a hole. Now, in this case, the head of the bolt snapped off, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, let's talk about the tools you need. You'll be needing a hammer, miscellaneous drill bits, a drill, obviously a tap and die set, a center punch, a file, and possibly a grinder. Okay, so in this case, the head of the bolt snapped off, but uh, there's not too much of the bolt sticking up. If there's a lot of the bolt sticking up, you want to get a grinder and grind that pretty even. Now in this case, since it's only rough but there's not much there, we're going to take a file. Just file it down a little bit until everything's flush. So for this part, you want to grab your center punch and your hammer and make a hole in the middle of the old bolt. Now what that's doing is, for the next step when you're going to drill through the old bolt, you pre-making a hole with the center punch is going to ensure that the drill bit isn't going to dance or walk around the top of the bolt. After you got your hole punched, the next step is to drill through the top of the old bolt. We're going to be starting off with a pretty small diameter drill bit, but not small enough to snap. Now you're going to start off with a small one, and once you penetrate the bolt, you're going to increase the size of the drill bit until you drill out all of the old threads for the old bolt. So now I'm past the end of the bolt. Next step is increase the size of the drill bit. Okay, so now that you put on a bigger drill bit, you want to drill through it again. So now we drill through it to the point that there's no more threads in the old bolt left in the hole. Right here. Nice clean hole. Now we're going to begin to tap the hole. So now you have to break out the tap and die set and find a re-threader that fits inside your hole. In this case, it's 5 16 You just want to sit it inside there and make sure that it fits. Now keep in mind, anytime you're going to tap a hole, you're always going to have to put an oversized bolt. It's pretty much what you're doing is you're cutting the inside of the hole and you're going to increase the diameter. So now you're going to have to match up an oversized bolt and fit it back in there. Grab the reed threader and fit it inside the handle. Now there's different types of lubricant you can use for this. I'm just going to use regular motor oil. But be sure to totally douse the re-threader in oil, like so. Grab the re-threader. Again, make sure it's covered in oil. And line it up on the top of the hole. Now, it's very important that you're going to go flush with the hole or else your thread is going to come out uneven. And pretty much what you're going to do is once you get it sitted in there, you're going to give it a quarter turn and a quarter turn backwards. So you're going a quarter turn forward and a quarter turn backwards. And just keep doing that. It's cast iron, so it's pretty thick. It might take a little while. Keep working it back and forth and screwing it down in the hole.
So now I'm confident that it's given me too much resistance to go any further. So I know I've hit the end of the hole. Just work it back and forth a little bit. Now the purpose of this is so as you're cutting, the grooves in the bit will let all of the metal shavings come out. Okay, so once you've ran the tap through a couple times and the threads are nice and cut, another thing I forgot to mention you're going to need is compressed air. you got to clean this thing out. It's going to be all kinds of little metal shavings in there. I know this camera is not that good. You can kind of see how shiny it is in there. All our threads are nice and cut. So now the next step is put the new bolt in. You can see how nice that threads right into there. So this is part one and part two will be showing you how to repair damaged threads on the actual bolt itself.